Are you using your Azure portal dashboard to its full potential? If not, this video is for you. Let's begin. Hello people, welcome back to my channel Fitness Geek and in today's video we are going to navigate through the Azure portal. So as you have been experiencing great change, great shift in the IT world right now, everyone is moving towards cloud and it's high time that you start learning cloud technology, cloud computing, be it Azure, be it AWS or be it GCP. There can be two cases. One, you might already be having an Azure account. Second, if you don't have an Azure account, it, you can try the trial version that is like 30 days free subscription and you'll get some credit that you can use. Imagine you join a new organization where they already use Azure and when you join initially, you are not aware of all the resources. So it's a great idea that you pin all your important resources in onto your dashboard so you can easily access them. So in this video tutorial, we will create our own dashboard, what all the resource we, resources they would, you know, uh, will be accessing it more frequently. We'll pin those things in your dashboard and you don't have to, you know, keep searching for each component's resources again and again. Instead, you can just go to your dashboard and jump into that resource. So let's begin our journey towards Azure. Let's begin. In case you do not have an Azure account, you can create a free tier subscription. So you can just Google for Azure free tier and then you can, you know, create your account. Let's look at what all free stuffs you get with your free account. You'll get 12 months of popular free services. You'll get 150 pounds of credit. That's around $200. And there are 25 services which are always free. There, are, You can go through this uh, entire you know, link and you'll have a lot of information about what all things you can access in the free tier. There are 12 AI services now free for 12 months. And these are the products you can use it for free, like 750 hours of Linux virtual machine, but the size is B1S. And you can use Windows VM 750 hours B1S again. You have SQL database for 250 gigs, file storage of 5 GB. I mean, you can just scroll through and you can check what uh, all things you can use for free. I already have my free account created for this tutorial so I'll just log in into that I have a few resources already running so you can see the recent recent resources on the right hand side right hand top you can see your account your email ID that's associated and the different accounts you can give the feedback here this is for help The next is your that gear is for your portal settings if you want to change how your portal looks I mean the color the theme all those things you can change from the portal settings here you can check the notifications whenever you create a resource or do any changes you can view the notification there this is your subscriptions you can change the subscription you are currently on from that this is your cloud shell icon so if you click on that uh, cloud shell will open if uh, I have already set it up but when you start for the first time it will ask you to configure this is the search panel you can search for your resources here A virtual machine or your SQL server or anything you can just search in the search bar and you can you know go to that resource this is for upgrading your account which we do not want this is for upgrading your account to pay as you go or you know other subscription options
this is your menu bar here you can straightly go to home you can go to your dashboard you can create a resource you can check all the services you can create your favorites all those things you can do from there so if you go to dashboard right now we do not have anything pinned to our dashboard other than the auto generated dashboard so this is not something that I have created but eventually we will do that in this tutorial you can check all the resources from here you can check your compute resources here virtual machines function apps availability sets disks you can check your networking here networking components your load balancers storage storage accounts data lake data shares data box so all the components individually you can go through from the menu this is how you need to navigate once you log in this is how you will navigate through the Azure portal I mean, this is not something difficult it is just like browsing Facebook or something this is for your analytics your Azure data breaks data factories you have your DevOps section so when you're looking for a resource you can go to your menu and you can search from there this is my all the resources in this subscription if you see my resource groups I have these five resource group as of now so what resource group is actually it's a collection of resources so what you can do is like suppose you want to launch an app and it will have a database and it will have a VM you want all these you know related resources to reside in a single single container single so this resource group is nothing but it's kind of a container where you keep all your resources which are related to each other so right now I do not have much stuffs uh, in this Terraform backend resource group I have a few resources I've got a SQL database So this is how you navigate through the portal now we will start creating our dashboard let's go to our subscription you can see my subscription name is free trial let me first pin this to my dashboard so you can do it to your existing private you don't want to share it now You can see it's now available here so the dashboard that you have seen in the beginning of this tutorial we are going to create that so this is where you start editing you can add resources here you can remove what exists so you can customize your dashboard it's it's all just drag and drop or you can just go to the resource and pin it directly so let me go back to my dash uh, uh, my SQL databases this is the database okay so if I want to see the compute utilization on my dashboard I can pin that that's pinned okay, now I go to my dashboard and I can see it's here I'll move it a bit on the top I don't need that so I can remove it looks much better see this does not have the can 
make it 2 cross 2 I can make the health 2 cross 2 as well just designing a good looking dashboard so you can create your dashboard accordingly see this looks much better now let's spin all my storage accounts that I frequently use I'll pin all three of the storage accounts because the dashboard is your entry point so if you know if you have all your frequently used resources on your dashboard it gets very easy for you to navigate and you don't have to remember the names and search for it it makes your life easy I'll move this storage account on top to make it look much better. And do it one cross one, two cross one. Much better now. This is quite fun, you know, you can create your own dashboard, move around the tiles and it's, it's just fun and very useful, it's very useful. Because once you have a lot of resources in your account, in your subscription, it gets really tough to go to each resource, resource search them by name or search them, identify them. So all your production stuffs that you frequently jump into you can keep it on your dashboard your uh, your cost analysis or your uh, billings your resource usage all those things you can keep it on the dashboard so I've got all the resource groups here let me edit that again Resources here. Let me move the resource groups on top. Nice, this looks much better because once I have my resource groups, I can go to the resources very easily. So I can keep this all resources here. this looks good Ooh, this is now arranged and then customizing this is how my dashboard right now looks like so if I want to jump into the, into my storage accounts I can directly go into I can go into my resource groups I can check my compute for that particular resource. No, it's, it's kind of a map for all your resources. You can check your health. Otherwise, you'll have to search for that particular resource and then even this cost, I can pin this. Dashboard 
notes here so it's very interactive it looks good and even you can share your dashboards so once you join I mean someone joins your organization you can just share your dashboard with them so this is the final view of our dashboard and you can customize it yourself as per your need this will really help you on a long run because as you keep on moving to Azure you create lots and lots of resources there would be lots of individual components that you create so you can just pin those important resources on your dashboard which will make your life very easy I hope this dashboard tutorial will help you manage your resources and if you like this video do help me with a like and a subscribe also stay tuned for upcoming videos on Azure